These are Luna Hyper 2nd edition 2023 wheels and in this review you will learn why I think they are the best value wheels from Luna. I will tell you how they perform in my in-house quality control checks, how they ride, how they compare to competing Chinese wheels and more. Many people like the Luna Hyper wheels, but some are bothered by their rim finish and ceramic bearings. So Loon introduced a cheaper version called Hyper 2nd Edition with a mate rim finish and steel bearings. I have ridden the Loon Hyper 2nd Edition D45 2023 wheels for about 1000 km. I rotated them with Loon Mega, which are super high end wheels for twice the price. By the way, I'm already working on their review as well. So make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss my review. But back to the Hyper 2nd Edition. This model is based on the Hypers. The front wheel weighs 645 grams and is 46 mm deep, while the rear wheel weighs 803 grams and is 54 mm deep. The same goes for the rim width. On the Hyper 2nd Edition 2020 it was 19 mm, while the Hyper 2nd Edition 2023 has an internal rim width of 21.3 mm. After a cool unboxing experience, thanks to the clever and funny text on the box, I performed in-house quality control checks. I checked the rim trueness, spoke tension and the ease of putting the tire on. I was pleasantly surprised by the results. The wheels were almost perfectly centered. I observed only minor deviations. The tension on the carbon spokes was consistent and the results are some of the best I've seen on Chinese carbon wheels yet. Well done Windspace! Surprisingly though, the hubs were not quite centered and when checking with a dishing tool you can see a tiny gap of about 0.5 mm. You can't really tell on the right characteristics, but I just wanted to show you that the wheels are not perfect. I also used the endoscope to look inside the rims. As you can see in the photos, the internal structure looks relatively smooth, but it was not difficult to find epoxy residue. I've seen cleaner rims already. I also tried putting on and used Tufo Comtura 40R 28mm tires. That was easy because they were already stretched out. I didn't need tire levers. I seated them without tire seal and using an air compressor with no problems. For the record, I also tried seating the tires with a regular floor pump, which also worked. I had this positive experience with the Hyper 2020s as well. Loon wheels are definitely one of those that make seating tubeless tires easy. By the way, all Hyper wheels come with tubeless tape already applied and tubeless valves, which is great because you save time and money. This should be standard on tubeless wheels, don't you think? Let me now explain the differences between Hyper 2nd Edition and Hypers. The most obvious difference is the rim finish. Hyper has a specific butterfly wave finish while Hyper 2nd Edition are made. Another difference is the use of ceramic bearings in the Hyper and steel bearings in the Hyper 2nd Edition. I will say up front that I can't tell the difference between the two in the right performance. However, the question is, what about their long-term durability? I attended an international engineering fair in Brno, Czech Republic, where I asked multiple engineers about the benefits and disadvantages of ceramic and steel bearings. The main thing I learned was that ceramic bearings are used in high-speed, high-temperature scenarios, which cycling is not. So they are probably not worth it due to their higher price and basically no added benefits for cycling. Still, they are often used just for marketing purposes. I would love to hear from you. Do you prefer steel or ceramic bearings? Let me know in the comments below. But back to the wheels now. The marginal difference is also a few grams lower weight of the hypers that you won't notice anyway. However, I'm sure you will notice the 300 US dollars lower price of the Hyper 2nd Edition compared to hypers. I honestly enjoy riding the Hyper 2nd Edition 2023 more than the Hyper 2020 because I find them more stable in crosswinds and maybe even a bit faster. Maybe it's a combination of a lower rim in the front and a deeper one in the rear. Maybe it's a smoother transition between the tire and the rim, and maybe it's a placebo. Honestly, if you didn't tell me which wheels I was riding, I probably wouldn't know. The Hyper 2nd Edition and Hypers are so similar that unless you absolutely want the unique look of Hypers, I recommend buying the Hyper 2nd Edition. You will save 300 US dollars, and that's a lot of money. Although I haven't tried the Hyper 2023s, they will be 99% the same due to the fact that they only differ in the ceramic bearings. In theory, a rim around 50mm is ideal for flats, 
hilly terrain and not too steep hills. Does this also apply in practice? I find the Hyper 2nd Edition similarly fast on the flats as the heavier Yolio Sat Pro 2022 or the 50 grams lighter Far Sports Venue S. They keep their momentum well and are fun to ride fast because it doesn't require as much effort, especially with the tailwind. In crosswinds, however, you will have to start paying more attention. Crosswind stability is one of the most notable weaknesses of the Hyper series. Although it is better than the Hyper 2020s, you still need to concentrate and most importantly, hold on to the handlebar because it's still worse compared to competing wheels. For example, the Fast Sports Wave which has a wave-like rim profile of 45-50mm are more stable. The same applies to Super Team All Carbon Ultra 50mm with 5.2mm wide carbon spokes. It's interesting, as theoretically the Super Team wheels have a more surface area for the wind to push against, so I would expect worse crosswind stability. If you know more about why this is so, Please comment on the physics below because I would love to learn more about this phenomenon. The high stiffness of these wheels has a positive effect on sprints, accelerations and riding from the saddle, but a negative effect on ride comfort. So the question is, what is your riding style and what is the quality of the roads you ride the most often? Honestly, I feel more fatigued from rides over 3 hours on super stiff wheels than on softer but more comfortable wheels. Stiff wheels transmit more shock and vibration to the frame and then to the body, so they contribute to the fatigue. That's why I blow 5 to 10 psi less pressure on stiffer wheels. I feel that the right comfort is often overlooked when choosing new wheels. It is difficult to quantify and you must rely more on the feelings or experience of the reviewer. When it comes to agility in steep climbs, I have to highlight my favorite Elite Wheels Drive climbing wheels again. These are much lighter and more responsive than the Hyper 2nd edition. Once you hit climbs steeper than about 8%, you start to feel they are not as fast. On the other hand, when riding false flats and shallow gradients, they are great and benefit from the aerodynamics and greater inertia. As a final point, I want to mention durability. Hyper wheels are known for it and they can take a lot. Although I haven't put tens of thousands of kilometers on them, you can find plenty of long-term reviews validating their quality. The experience of others also confirms that wind space is upfront about any claims, so you don't have to worry about not getting a satisfactory solution. Based on my experience, I recommend the Hyper 2nd Edition R or D45 wheels more to racers and performance-oriented riders. You will appreciate their stiffness and speed especially on flats and rolling terrain. On the other hand, they are not as comfortable as steel spoked wheels. So when deciding, consider the quality of the roads in your area or whether you are willing to compensate for the stiffness with lower tire pressure. They have better crosswind stability than the previous generation hypers, but it is still worse than competing wheels. I appreciate that they come with tubeless tape already applied and tubeless valves. There is also a gift and spare spokes in the box. Although loon wheels are known for their durability, they are covered by a 2 year warranty and are UCI approved. I consider their price of 1200 US dollars to be reasonable. When you use the discount code CYCLISTSHUB10, you will save 10%, bringing the price down to the 1080 US dollars. Anyway, I hope you find this review helpful. If you do so, please like and subscribe below to support my channel. Make sure to also click on the bell icon to not miss my future reviews. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Ciao!